hopefully we can get this together. Let's see, where are we? And where is the game? <gasps> oh, snap. Did I not save? Uh oh. It's gonna be real awkward if I didn't save. It's gonna be super awkward if I didn't save. I thought it automatically saved. It better have saved. Yeah, I think it did, I think it did. Don't stress out, girl. Hey everybody, what's up? Love your vids, thanks. Oh yeah, it saved, okay, we're good. I got nervous. So, we're starting the morning and it's raining. I mean, it's kind of a vibe. We never had a rainy uh, delivery day before, so let's do it. Gonna enter the truck and get ready to start Rise my day. And shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. positive for that P. Period. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and people. I'm gonna park right here. I'm gonna get out, take the package to the first customer of today. Aren't I supposed to meet that man today? Like, my crush? The guy who said, oh wait, yeah, yeah, it's today, it's today. The guy who said he wanted to meet me, the uh, the lumberjack. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet him today. Hi, here's your package, ma'am. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Oh, you don't like it? I mean, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to deliver the gift. Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. Oh, sounds like a headache, cause like. <laughs> sounds like a headache indeed. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. They want me to take pictures with the camera and film from this box so I can practice with the mini lab. Ooh. I mean, like, it sounds like fun. Like, at least you can, you know. No, you know what? I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to say I wish I could help you because I don't want to help you. I only want to help the people that I really care about. So, you know what? That sucks. On top of running the <laughs> store? Ugh. I guess I'll just have to deal with it myself. Yep. Have a nice day, ma'am. Have a nice day. I'm not going to help her, but I'm going to help the people I care about, like that man with his tax papers or whatever he needed help with. Her, on the other hand, not so much. So let's continue our job. I wish we had an umbrella to help us out, but like we don't, so we kind of have to deal with what we got. So let's keep delivering while we listen to the radio. What they got? <gasps> Girl! Or sir, I mean, whoever you identify as, you almost got hit. You gotta watch out for this mail truck, cause honey, the brakes don't work too well on this thing. It's my dad's. Boom. Now we're gonna deliver this mail. Hi, Allie, my birthday was fun yesterday. I'm glad you had a great birthday. What'd you guys do? You can tell me why I delivered this mail. You know, I don't got nothing else to do, so like, talk to me, y'all. What's up? Hey, girl. Hey, Kay. What's up? This is my first time being in your live. Welcome. We're chilling. I'm delivering some mail. I'm supposed to meet somebody tonight on this game, so it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. All right, so we go to the cul-de-sac that I like so I can deliver this. Hey, I'm doing pretty good on my job today. Hello? Oh, is it not that mailbox? What's the tea? 
Do they want me to give it to their door? Hello? Not me sitting on nothing. Uh, awkward. Okay, I'm confused because it looks like this is where I'm supposed to deliver this mail. Maybe it's the next house. Pretend y'all didn't see me sit on nothing. It's the next house, y'all. Sometimes I'm a little rusty with my job, but. See, I got it. Dang, I don't got no umbrella. She can't put up her hood. Like, it's the rain getting all on me for me. Yes, I am going live on TikTok. We're playing Fall Guys later. But right now, we're delivering some mail to our... Oh, stop sign. Oops. To our fellow neighborhood friends. Take a left here so we can deliver some mail. First up, we got this person. Here's your mail. Amazing. Then we got this person right here. Park your car. Deliver their mail. Oh, is it not this person? Maybe it's this person. My bad. Hey, Miss Girl. Hey, what's up? Ooh, interesting. What's the name of the game? It is called, uh, what's it called? Lake. It's called Lake. I'm trying to stir up some gossip around the town, but so far, it's just been kind of normal. So let's go deliver the package over this way. Oh no, it's a letter, sorry. Okay, so this is like my fifth day or something. I don't know, I'm pretty good at my job though. Except for when I flipped the car yesterday or two days ago. And sometimes I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to deliver the mail. But that's okay. Not there. Maybe right here? Yes. Hey, girl. Delivering your mail. That was hilarious when I flipped the car. <laughs> it was. It actually was. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. Like, I hope my girl is okay. Meredith, I hope she's okay. But that was funny. Ooh, not me hitting that red car. Don't tell them, y'all. So now we need to deliver a package over this way. Might be a long drive, so y'all get used to the nice rain that's, you know. Oh, that's a dead end. Wrong way. Anyway, get used to the rain and the radio because that's all I can offer you until we get to our destination. And I'm not stopping for the stop sign because I'm the mailman. It don't matter. Anyway. Flip it, bop it, twist it. Twist the car. That was me. That was literally me. I said bop it. Like the game. I stopped for that stop sign. I actually stopped. Is anybody proud of me? If you are, click that like button. <laughs> what game are you playing? It's called uh, Lake. It's called Lake. And right now we are a male, a male woman. That's us right there. That's us. We're delivering the mail. And we also have a, I'm gonna call it a date. It's not really a date, but we have a meeting tonight with this guy, this He's a lumberjack, I think. And he cute. So I'm like, I'm trying to date. He cute to my character. I feel like Wait, my character would be perfect. Where's the package? With him. 
So I'm trying to set them up together, but uh, I don't know if it's going to work out because he, I'm supposed to help him with his tax papers. But I don't care about his tax papers. I'm just trying to meet him, talk to him, get to know him. Hi, Lori. Got some mail for you today. Hey. Oh, why, Miss W? Yeah, late. Uh, yeah, thanks. Something on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? You seem out of it. It's just, Angie came by with a movie box and a couple of movies to watch. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. You guys remember uh, this? Did she? I'm not surprised. And you're having trouble picking? Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. Uh. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. Aww. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Aww. Well, I'm sure you'll like it. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! We'll watch a horror movie at my place, because I love horror movies. Tell you what. Take the love bug now, and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Yes. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Yep. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Okay, so her parents might be mad at me later, but I do not care. I love the Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm going to watch it with her, so whatever. Anyway, we have um, to continue. We got a couple packages this way. We're almost done with our job, and then we can meet the dude. Loki thought the girl was an adult. Free her, right? That's why I said you can watch Nightmare on Elm Street at my place. I think this drive might be a long one, y'all. So we can chat while we wait. What y'all up to? <laughs> What y'all up to? Not me not staying on the road. You know what? It don't matter. But it do. It do. But I don't care. But I do. Only a little bit. Mm. Only a tiny bit. Uh-oh. There is no one on this road anyway. So does it really matter? No. Okay, first package is coming up. Amazing. Oh, it's at the diner. I love the diner. This is where I flipped the car. Let me park right, though, because... Oops. Because I flipped my car, and I know everybody at the diner saw that. And that's kind of embarrassing. So I just want to make sure people know I can do what I need to do. So... Oh, got to get the package. Almost forgot. We're on 500 Lake Road, so... There we go. And let's go deliver the package to my old best friend's mom. Is that who she is? It's been 22 years. Hi, Kay. <laughs> Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just uh, put it on the counter, would you? <gasps> That's my best friend. Kay, about the other day. What about it? Uh... Why were you upset to see me? I'm about to confront her because I just want to know, like. Why were you upset to see me? I don't know. Maybe because you never replied, even though I wrote and called you. Oh, I didn't know that. Hold on. Hold on. Let me read what y'all saying. I didn't know. Uh. Uh. Actually, I was just. Dropping off a package. Let me lie. Actually, I was just <laughs> dropping off the package. I mean, I really was, though. See ya. Sure. Don't let me hold you up. Oh. Wait. I didn't know we were going to end the conversation. I didn't know. But you know what? Dang. I already ended the conversation with her. It's fine. I don't know if I'm ready to be her friend because the way she sh shut me out anyway. So maybe I made the right decision. 
Maybe, maybe. I thought that she was going to say she was dropping off packages, and that's why she couldn't um, do what she needed to do. But that's not the case. Oops. That's T. I didn't mean to say what I said, but maybe it was the best thing to do. Maybe it was the best thing to do. Because, like, Kay don't seem like she really excited to see me anyway. But maybe we'll get into it next time. I doubt it. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, shoot. I missed my turn. I missed it. And I'm, wow, running into the rocks. Missed my turn. Got to go back. There's supposed to be like a turn up here so I can get to the next and last package. Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, who lives here? Can my, can my truck go up on this? Oh, somebody got a farm. Period. As they should. All right, let me park. Get the package. This is my last one of the day. I'm feeling good. Reynolds Farm. My school doesn't even tell us what our lunch schedule is. So you you just don't know? How? Like, that's not fair. You, you I feel like you should know. Hey, uh. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. Um, if your name is Jack Reynolds. If your name is Jack Reynolds, indeed. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. Indeed. Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. A Meredith. Nice He's to meet DJ? you. DJ and farmer? DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Yeah. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farming seen better times i had some spare time and a room in the shed so i figured why not about your playlist True. you know what it could use some more songs speaking of songs it could use ally fit songs for example how i like it or maybe secret or maybe disease i think it could use some more songs indeed indeed working on that but i'm in the middle of a potato harvest don't have much time hey listen postal worker meredith I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure. Sure. No problem. Thank you so much. Bye. You see, since I'm a deliverer, I can give this to someone. No, no problem. But, like, the way that other girl was trying to get me to deliver her DVDs or her VCR set... I wasn't trying to do that because that was so that was totally different, and she didn't even package it up, so it's like mm -mm. shameless plug. Exactly. Oh, I'm on the other side of the road because I can't drive, but I'm off the clock, and that's all that matters. She's off the clock, ladies. I was dying last night because of the truck flip, I swear. <laughs> I just didn't mean to do it, but that's what happens when you try to read chat and uh, drive at the same time. So just don't do what I did. I feel like I did not go the right way. No, 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 no. I got to turn around. I got to take that turn, that right turn, because I missed it. Or the left turn. I mean, it's going to be a right turn for us now, but it was a left turn. But I got to take this turn to clock off of work. Careful, dear. Oops. Yo, my dad's going to be so mad when he sees this truck. It's going to have dents in it. It's going to be a problem. But it won't be my problem. See, that's what I needed to do. 
I need to take this turn and now I'm back where I need to be. Amazing. And now I can clock off and go to my date, which is not a date at all, but I'm going to pretend it's a date. Period. Clocking out. I do not even feel like parking the car right. But I clocked out. Now I'm at the diner. Whip round out. Meredith and Robert. Oh. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two? Yes. Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one if possible. We've got work to do. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. Ooh. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. The roof. Yes, I promised to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hm, sure is one of the good ones right there. Yes. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than 10 minutes. What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. You right. You right. Speak for yourself. Ha -ha, but Maureen. you right. Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, I guess there might be a bit of projection involved. Well, who can blame me, right? <laughs> anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. I hear the sun hits your face in all the right places here. Oh, well, thank you. I'm gonna need to take a selfie. Okay, so what you're saying is there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? <gasps> lovebirds. Maureen, really? I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know? Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> um, oh, I can go for a glass of red wine. I could go for a glass of red wine, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. Ashley, did we get that wine order in last week? They what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. I'm sure you'll do fine. No, wait. I'm going to ask him because, you know, I care. I care about his well-being. Do you think he'll manage? What do you think? Uh, uh, you'll need some extra help, which is me. To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, you two hardworking individuals. Here you go. Ooh. Thanks, Marie. Cheers. So, how's life in PO so far? It's only been a week, but... Uh... Not the most eventful one in my life, to be real with you. Not the most eventful one in my life. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Do you love it? Time sure does fly. And do. Oh, I can't say and do. When you're having fun? When you're having fun? Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. What are you thinking really of? better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, that's quite a big job. Oh. Well, it's still light out and all. You know, so. So he's trying to leave. Thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. Okay. Everything okay over here? Did we say yeah. something wrong? I guess. I, I'm not sure. Big yikes. Uh, did we mess up? Like, what just happened? What just happened, y'all? Friday afternoon. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. T. She's not even here to answer the phone. Meredith, oh, yes, she is. Steve. 
<laughs> Not Asia. Oh, hi, Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. Yeah, you owe me. You owe me. Um, it was not the most fun. It better help. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had. You won't regret it. It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. Um, calm down, Steve. Calm down, Steve. Like, and, and what happens together. now? <laughs> well, yes, calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Huh. Okay, Steve. Break away. Okay, Good Steve. luck. Good luck. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Because, like, I'm not trying to talk to him. He get on my nerves. Period. I love that for you, Steve. Um, I'm always going to watch TV, honey. <laughs> Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I don't know what was supposed to be funny about that, but whatever. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. See, it's a good thing you didn't deliver that girl's stuff. You're right. Good morning, Meredith. It's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? What do you mean? I'm afraid not. Mm, I'm afraid not, Frank. It's easy. Just drive past Jack Reynolds Land, and it appears on your right side on the lake shore. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, <sighs> I wanted to ask you something. Let me ask you I will too not much. babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no. It's about something else. Um... What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. I don't know where this person's house is. Like, what do you mean? I got a lot of deliveries to get. Morning, P.O. How about a pet peeve to start the weekend? Or will it be a positive? I'm already the hitting stuff, y'all. I just started the day. Lord. Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like so the first idea, step is Tina. the cul-de-sac. Hmm. Let's take a closer look what? at today's weather now. 1.53 a.m. right now. Oh, my gosh. Why are you awake right now? Well, it is Saturday. Or Friday, sorry. I mean, it's technically Saturday for you. But you know what I mean. It's the weekend. You can stay up late, right? Yeah. You can vibe with us while I deliver some mail to my neighborhood. By the way, shout out to the people who are liking the stream. Shout out to the people who are um, sharing the stream as well. Shout out to the people who are donating things. All the things. I shout out to, to everyone, really. We're just having a good time. All right. Is this where I'm supposed to deliver? Oh, it's a package. So I got to go to their, like, front door. What are we on? 104 W West 2nd Street. Let's go. A little package for them. Must be, like, a, a CD or something. Maybe some jewelry. I don't know. Are they home? Nope. No answer. Well, I'm going to leave it right, right there. On to the next one. Anyway, I wish she could run. I always say that, but like, <sighs> take it forever. It's 7.55 p.m. right now. Where? Wow. Over here, it's only four. Oh, you must be on the East Coast, huh? Uh, I guess I'm going to, oh! Not do that. That was an accident. My bad, my bad. I'm just trying to deliver some letters. I know there's one that needs to be delivered over here. I need to be more careful with my dad's truck. Park. Right here. Deliver. Beautiful. 
And if we just keep going, I think that there's more mail that needs to be delivered down this way. Oh, it might be further than I thought. Never mind. But we're going to go to that way anyway, because why not, right? Get ready, y'all. Let's see how fast we can make this thing go again. And hopefully not crash. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh, fish. I was like, huh? It was a fish emoji. What's up, Bree? How you doing? How you doing? We're delivering some mail. You know how it is. Oh, this is where I flipped the car last time. Oh, but I remember to put the brakes on. That stop right there becoming too quick for people in a, a mail truck because mail truck doesn't have good brakes. It's really struggle city. So this must be the farmer's house. They said past the farmer's house was whoever I was supposed to deliver something to. Oh, right here. Oh. Um. Um. You know what? It happens. You know, you win some, you lose some. You have good days, you have bad days. And I made a strawberry daiquiri earlier, so that might be the reason why. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. All right, so let's deliver their mail to them because that, I don't even know what happened, but it happened. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. <laughs> Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Huh? Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! The map is hard to read. Sorry, I just wanted to say that because, you know, you said that. Um, what kind of paper? What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Oh! Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that, Bessie. No harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. So you guys on vacation? So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joe! No, you don't. Can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Oh, bye. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? I don't know what they got going on, but she seemed nice. Uh, let me keep moving. But y'all can't tell anybody what happened to the truck earlier. <laughs> I mean, to those of you who are watching on the playback, you you saw it. Just make sure you don't post it on any socials. Make sure you don't tag me when you post it so I can see it. Make sure you don't let everybody know that I'm the most terrible driver ever when it comes to video games. Just, you know, yeah. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Hey, Bestie. Hey, Anthony. What's up, Bestie? I love the graphics in this game. It's pretty. Look. See? I'll give y'all a view. Wow, how pretty. Okay. Let me pay attention. So, up here we need to deliver... Is it a package? Or is it a letter? I guess we'll have to wait and see. We got a hotel over here. The vibes. That's what I thought my man, who doesn't know he's my man yet, was the other day. He might have been there. I just don't know because I can't look inside every single motel room. Not to be a creep or a stalker, but that is giving creep and stalker, so. Never mind. Take a left turn. Oops. Those left turns are just too sharp for me sometimes. 
All right, who lives out here? I've never been this far now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right in here is where they live. Um, okay. Whoever lives here. Where's your mailbox? Oh. Bruh. I didn't even have to pull into their place. The mailbox is over here. It's all right. Hope I get to meet these people. You missed it? Oh, don't worry. It's on the playback for sure. I crashed the whole car. Actually, we we were vertically like placed. We were um in a vertical position. Position? That's what I said. We were in a vertical position for about um I would say 50 seconds. It was quite wild if you ask me and the chat and I know my father's gonna be mad at me when he watches the playback and he sees that um I crashed his mail truck but whatever happens is what happens he didn't tell me that the turning on this thing was terrible he didn't let me know this game is so peaceful and kind of feels weird that's what I'm saying I'm like is it gonna be peaceful the whole time or can I stir up some drama? Because you know me. Oh, the cops! Okay, we did a good job of, you know, acting natural. Dang, where are we going? I feel like we're super far from where we need to be. Goodness. I feel like I need to turn left here. And then, why did they make me go out into the woods? Oh, this is my man's house. Y'all know when I go over this bridge, I'm going to my man who's not my man's house. Yeah, he'll be mine soon. Just wait. Just wait. Oh, and he outside. Let me go deliver him his stuff. See if I can talk to him. Give him a second. Hey. How you doing, boo? Hi, Robert. <laughs> Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um. Sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Yeah, what was that about? Yeah, what was that all about? Tell me. I was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Uh, I know what you mean. Let me agree with him because, like, what you mean? I, I'm not bad company. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I'm weird There's AF. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. What What you got? A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? But he rejected you. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> We're talking about it. Um, uh, uh, so no new news? So no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Um. I won't tell anybody. Come on. Oh, come on. I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. This man keeps okay. rejecting me, y'all. Good luck with that. Thanks. Whatever. He rejects me all the time and I just let it happen. Ew. Uh, she's a simp. <sighs> I'll get him one day. One day. It may not be today, but I'll get him. Maybe I need to run into his truck for me to get him. Here we go. Ready? Maybe he'll get me after he realizes there's a dent in his truck. Let's go. So it looks like I need to go this way and like to the right to be able to go to my next destination. I could be wrong though. Honey, I don't know where I'm going. But whoever's singing is really singing. He got a wife, I bet. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna get sad. He's supposed to be my man. Oh, 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 oh. 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 
Oh, for a second my car wasn't backing out. I thought it I thought it stopped. I thought we had to call the mechanic. That would have been bad. I mean one of these days we'll have to. But hopefully not today. Whoa. <gasps> this is close to where I had my first kiss. Her first kiss? Oh snap. I think I'm stuck, y'all. I got so shook about my first kiss, I crashed. Oof. Oof. All right, we good. Lord, okay. Um, Right here. We're back, you know, on the street. Civilization is lit. Deliver. And then, oh, we're close to my house. Or my parents' house, sorry. Right here, we need to deliver a package. We're on Vintage Street. Oh, shoot. We vintage or whatever. So, Vintage AF. It looks like a ukulele. It's giving ukulele box. I have a ukulele. That's why. Nope. And it came in that no box. No answer. Like, literally. Wait, let me show y'all. I don't want to be a weirdo, but let me show y'all. Look, 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 look. See? Tell me that's not the same box. Tell me it's not the same box. Exactly. It's giving ukulele. Speaking of, I need to play my ukulele more. I haven't played it in forever. So let's put it down and keep it moving. Uh-oh. I accidentally made the sound go away. My bad. Maybe he wants a side chick too. Maybe. Maybe maybe that dude wants a side chick. Because, like, shoot, she on vacation anyway. She can have a vacation, boo. And then go back to her city life in New York where she lived. So, mm-hmm. Maybe that's what she want to do. We don't know. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not stopping at no stop sign because I'm the mail truck and I'm not about to. Per bestie, right. Allie, he got a wife, baby mama, and three kids. Don't say that. Asia, don't say that. <sighs> You're lying. He does not. Does he really? <sighs> that would ruin all my chances. All right, so let me park. Uh-oh, not this girl's place. <gasps> this is the girl with the VCRs. And I denied her last time, so is she going to hate me? Oh, that's heavier than I thought. What's she order? Ooh, I hope she don't not, like, not hate me. because I mean, I hope she don't hate me. I can't talk. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, did things work out with the movie box? Yeah, yeah, it was fine. <gasps> she sounds like she don't like me anymore. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Whoa! Whoa, easy there. I just asked a question. It's just, never mind. But in case you still want to help with the movie box, I have two more movies I'd like to see delivered. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. She mad at me, y'all. She mad at me because I didn't deliver. It seems. What should we do, y'all? Should we um, deliver her last things? Wait, I'm not going to help if you treat me like this. I'm not going to help if you treat me like Hell this. Hell yeah. Like this. Fine. It was a stupid idea anyway. Now, if you'll excuse me. Bye. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I don't like her. Yep. Because she tried to use me. She tried to pretend like she liked me so she could get me to deliver her stuff. And when I said no, she treated me like a jerk. And then I told her that I wouldn't do it if she was going to treat me that way. And then she got even more of an attitude. So she done. 
Oh, she done. She done. Honey, we're done. We're done. I'm not doing nothing for her. She treating me like that. Like this stream if you agree. Because, I don't know. Am, do I feel, am I the mean one? Because, like, first of all, I'm on my job. And she asked me to do something. I can't do it on the clock. I told her no. She get an attitude with me the next day. Oh, no, 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 the no, The Countess no, 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 no. and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed. Jumper? Right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Hmm. Whatever. It's on my birthday. My birthday is September 10th. It's September 7th. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. There's so much space. And people just start conversations with you as if they don't have somewhere to be. I mean, somewhere else. <laughs> Which is probably true. I delivered quite a few packages and letters and had a few interesting meetings. I wonder what next week will bring. But not before ending this week with a new friend. My man. Should be interesting. You know what? Sunday afternoon. Oh, this is... Okay. This is good. Aren't we supposed to watch that movie with this... Uh, Hello? With that girl? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Hi, Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Calm down, Steve. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. What? 250 thousand multiply that by like 35 bucks what what that's millions of dollars of revenue m -m -m millions and and it's just the start listen i've got the contract right here i'm sending over a copy you should have it tomorrow please please check check double check check it right away i want your blessings before i sign on the dotted line okay i'll see what i can do I'll see what I can do, Steve. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Period. Are we about to be rich? Because I like rich. It's official. I love horror I movies. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. Mm. You weren't scared? You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Move out? Move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but it's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. Okay, I'm well, sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks. You're literally a child. I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. You're literally a child. Uh, what did you have to school? But what do you want to do after school then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. Ooh. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me. Oh, well, maybe. Oh. I think. Uh, you know what? Do what you want to do. Oh, traveling. You know what? Go ahead.
man trap. Once you're done with school, you can start traveling. Go out and see the world like you said you wanted. Meet new people, do new things. Be a free spirit. I think that could be cool too. But I'd have to get my license first. And a car. But I guess I can save up money while I'm working for my dad anyway. Exactly. And I've always wanted to see the Smithsonian Museum. Oh, oh, or Sequoia National Park in Cali. Yes. Um, plenty of stuff. See, plenty of stuff just waiting out there for you to come and visit. You have two years left of high school, more than enough time to get your license and save up for a car. You're right, Meredith. Thank you. Also for talking to me and stuff. Aww. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Later. Later. That is so sweet. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. What Tess say? Hey, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. <gasps> uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Uh, I must have missed it. Oh? I must have missed it. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. Why? Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Yes. Um, yes. Well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, <gasps> first paragraph? Oh! Yeah! Ah, yes, Chapter 11. Riveting stuff. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, first paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Okay. Oh, okay. Sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. I mean, yeah. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. Oh, my God. A yes or no will suffice. I'm scared. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? No. No. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. I don't know shit. No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Excuse me? Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Unfortunately, we have to uh, close it here, but <laughs> we will be playing this again very soon because what the heck? Why is he asking me questions like as if Frank is doing something dirty? I don't have nothing to do with that, and I don't want to be part of that. Oh, no, no, no. But if you enjoyed this video and want more Lake videos, make sure, or live streams, I guess, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, Make sure you stream my music because it does indeed slap. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. And may God bless you every step. Also, check out um, my TikTok at 6 p.m. Pacific time. I mean, yeah. And 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's me forgetting. Because I will be live streaming on there. We're playing five, five guys. I must be hungry. We're playing Fall Guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>